we at the University of Louisville have been given a very important mandate, a statutory mandate, a mandate from the people of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And that is to be among the very best institutions anywhere in the country, to be a premier nationally recognized metropolitan research university. Because great universities, through their teaching and through their research and their clinical activities and through their engagement in their community, improve economic opportunity and the quality of life for the people of our community and our state. And that's what our focus is at the University of Louisville. And so today, we're here to make an announcement that verifies all of that. A very important announcement that shows our commitment um, to improving the quality of life and economic opportunity for the people of our community and state. We're here today to re recognize uh, Dr. Uh, Barbara Polipka and her team. She's going to introduce her team. This is truly a multidisciplinary uh, effort and project. So she's going to introduce her team in just a moment. But we're going. We're here today to recognize and to say thank you and to express our appreciation to Barbara and her team on the receipt of a 2.3 million dollar grant from the National Institute for Aging. So. What is this whole event about? It's about celebrating a multidisciplinary uh, launch uh, of a study and a series of studies by a multidisciplinary group of investigators who run the entire gamut of being research scientists to clinicians to generalists taking care of patients and really thinking about the way we take care of patients today, which is a patient-centered medical home. Uh, and looking at uh, those factors epidemiologically and across a whole spectrum uh, of the population. And as a result of this kind of success, we know we will be able to recruit more talented research faculty who may want to come and work with Dr. Plifka, and also to recruit more very inexperienced researchers as PhD students who will also want to be mentored by Dr. Plifka. She also mentors many of our bachelor students who are interested in research at a very young point in their career. I very much want to introduce the members of our team, Dr. Rodney Fultz. Raise your hand, say hi. Um, he's the co-principal investigator on this study and he's their pulmonologist. Dr. Christian Furman is our geriatrician. Dr. Renee Gertler is our uh, family medicine specialist. Dr. John Myers is our biostatistician. Russ Barnett is the director of the Kentucky Institute for Environment and Sustainable Development. Dr. Rodrigo Cavalazzi is our pulmonologist on site. Susan Rames is our project coordinator. Brian Beatty is our clinical research coordinator. And Chase Harbor is our graduate research assistant from uh, the School of Public Health. Not able to be here today is Dr. David Tullerod from the School of Public Health, and D. Antimasarius, who's our geriatric pharmacist. So we've got a great team, as you've heard, and I'm really excited about working with them. About two and a half years ago, I came to the U of L and I spoke with Dean Hearn about putting together a team to respond to a call from NIH regarding asthma in older adults. She suggested I meet with Dr. Foltz and Tolerod, and they connected me with Drs. Furman, Girdler, and Russ Barnett. So along with um, our statistician, Dr. Myers, our team formed and we began to, to meet frequently, very frequently very often, lots of emails, and we developed this research proposal. So the NIH proposal was looking, they were including um, a couple of items, areas that we were very interested in. One is exploring asthma phenotyping, which is categorizing asthma in older adults. That's really not been done to any great extent, and this is Dr. Foltz's primary area of interest. The other area that we're interested in is exploring the role of environment and the type of residents in asthma in older adults, and that's my primary area of interest. So our longitudinal study is focused on both of these areas. Um, as you heard, we know a great deal about asthma in children, but what we don't know a whole lot about is how multiple factors such as demographics, occupational history, age of onset, other kinds of health problems, tobacco use, medication, and environmental exposures, how all of these can impact asthma in older adults, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So in our study, we'll be completing comprehensive biophysical testing that includes pulmonary function testing, skin testing for allergies, blood testing, 
We're going to be asking our participants about things like asthma control, quality of life, medication use, asthma triggers. And we're going to be gathering all that information at our new clinical trials unit, and we're very excited about that. So we're also going to be testing our home, the home environment. So we're going to be primarily looking at volatile organic compounds, and these are VOCs. Um, these are primarily found in paints, air fresheners, pesticides, and other common household products. So we'll be also gathering information in their homes about particulates, moisture, and other asthma triggers. We'll be doing this over two days in the participant's home. So our plan is to recruit about 100, 200, about 200 individuals into this study, and they'll be participating over a longitudinal time over 18 months. We'll be keeping them in the study. We're interested in recruiting people who live in single-family homes, multifamily dwellings, as well as assisted living facilities and residential facilities. And this is really an innovative part of our project uh, because, as you all know, people who are older tend to move from in, in single-family homes or multifamily dwellings <coughs> into assisted living facilities. And we don't know what happens when their asthma, their exposure to different asthma triggers, what, how that impacts their asthma. So we're going to be looking at that as well. So who are we going to recruit into the study? Individuals, as you heard, who are 60 and over non-smokers, and folks with um, no, lung, no other lung diseases. We plan to recruit from here at UofL clinics. We'll go to allergist offices, senior citizen centers, assisted living facilities, churches, beauty shops, barber shops, anywhere where the elderly congregate. We'll be there. So our long-term goal is to use these findings in future research to test the outcomes of patient-centered or very personalized interventions for older adults to help um, assure that their asthma is controlled and mainly to improve their quality of life. Thank you.